Okay, so just to move on to part two about my thoughts on prostitution and whether it should be legal or not. As I said in the last video, I don't think that prostitution is an ideal thing. I don't think it's a particularly good thing. But it exists and we need to really consider what is the best approach. I am not convinced that the current situation, which is making solicitation illegal, is working. Um, I still believe that having designated zones operating after a certain time, say operating after 9pm, having those zones secure, monitored, have CCTV cameras, um, like in the entry and exit, and basically have it as a sort of legalised sex zone, so to speak. A situation where people go get what they want which is sex and where the sex workers get a fair deal where they're in a secure situation um, now one of the common claims against prostitution is of course a feminist claim that it's a form of male subjugation of women but this sort of lends to the notion that the men involved have complete power and they're, they're these tyrants who are subjugating the women again I put it out the point that in many cases you have to uh, uh, analyze the motivation these men go there in the first place yeah of course it's for sex but these men are actually suffering in many cases as perpetual celibates feminists don't understand that they don't understand the sort of mental health consequences that that brings about and this is the huge taboo of our time perpetual celibacy it's one thing that's never spoken about and in my opinion it's a massive health crisis out there especially for men but for women as well people who cannot get sex and this is not a trivial matter it's no laughing matter I think it can have enormous mental um, health impacts on those affected now there, there are times when it can be argued that the sex trade is subjugating women especially when you involve for example underage sex workers when people trafficking is involved and so on so once again legalizing it would I'm not saying it would eradicate it but I am convinced that it would um, be a barrier. It would put up a challenge to human traffickers and make their work a lot harder, therefore making it easier to catch them out. Um, you could have a strict system whereby there is an absolute guarantee that the women who are working in this trade are over the age of 21. Um, there is an argument to be had that it would reduce the number of STDs again if it's in a controlled situation there are so many factors I believe that are the preferable option when it comes to legal versus illegal and if you look at uh, sex workers in Amsterdam when they're interviewed most of them tend to support the situation continuing to be legal obviously because it's their trade now I'm sure these women did not think oh when I grow up I want to be a sex worker for whatever reason they've fallen onto this and but I would propose that whilst they are involved in this trade they should be given support they should be given a secure environment and then hopefully they can raise enough money get enough to support to move on to something else to do in their lives um, but what you have to understand about this thing um, I mean the feminist argument is it's not a balanced situation I dispute that. It's it's a mutual agreement. The client pays money, which the prostitute needs. The prostitute provides sex, which the client needs. So it is a contract between two parties. And uh, this is absolutely not the same as rape. When feminists say that prostitution is rape, that's something I strongly disagree with. Even if the prostitute is the sex worker is not particularly enjoying it, the idea that that can be compared to a woman who's forced to have sex against her will is absurd, and I believe it actually trivialises sex. I mean, trivialises rape. The act of prostitution between client and sex worker is not ideal sex, in my opinion, but it is a mutual agreement more often than not
not in every circumstance, but the only reason that this sort of violence and rape does happen within the industry is because it isn't regulated. You know, human traffic is an e trafficking is an evil thing. Sex slavery is an evil thing. There needs to be concrete laws put in place to protect these women, but simply criminalising clients is not going to do it. Because these gangsters who control the sex workers are operating in an underworld anyway. That means police resources have to be used to try and track them down. If you have a legal situation, those gangsters lose their job. They, unless they come clean and then start operating in a legal framework, well they can't because they're greedy, they're motivated by greed. And quite often I wouldn't be surprised if they exploit these women take a percentage of their money that's far higher than what the woman's getting but if you legalize it the woman is much likely more likely to get a fair trade a fair um deal from whatever money is given in with the current situation i wouldn't be surprised if a large percentage goes to the pimp um instead of the woman who's actually doing the act um but that's that's all there is to say really on the matter. I can't comment in detail about country to country. Um, I believe in the United States it varies from state to state. But if you look at countries where it's illegal, it's it's still flourishing. Look at China. Um, the sex trade is technically illegal in China. So uh, prostitution is illegal. But it's flourishing there. And it's run by organized crime. Uh, this is the same in Britain. It's the same in parts of the United States. Now, I'm not holding up the Netherlands as a perfect example. I am sure there are situations where sex workers face violence or rape there as well. But from what I have seen, it is a preferable situation to the situation in countries where it is illegal. All you can do is work on the evidence that exists, not speculation. Um... And the evidence that exists as it is, is that sex workers do face, face a lot of violence in countries where the sex trade is illegal. There will never be an ideal situation when we're talking about the sex industry. In a perfect world, this wouldn't have to exist, because men and women would be able to make love in a comfortable, secure environment. No money involved. It would be passionate. It would be real love. But this is not an ideal world. And in a world where... The people do fall on hard times with financial insecurity and when people are in situations where they cannot have um, sexual attachments that's when the sex industry comes about sex is a fundamental human desire something that feminists don't seem to understand um, to them it's all a case of uh, oh this is these brutal men subjugating women they hugely hugely underestimate what motivates a lot of those men and why they're doing it and i i would safely say that the majority of men who visit sex workers probably feel guilty as hell about doing it because they know the image that goes with it but these men in some circumstances have no other choice now i have no sympathy for men who have a sex life and are just um womanizers i have no sympathy for them I'm talking specifically here about men who have no other choice. It is literally the only way they can have some sort of sexual involvement. And ask yourself this question, would you rather have a man visiting a sex worker to fulfill that human attachment or the mental health situation gets to a point where he decides to go on a gun rampage because he can't get sexual attachment? You know? Um, don't underestimate the sort of um, impact this has on mental health. Perpetual celibacy I'm talking about. So in conclusion, I don't think prostitution is a good thing. But so long as it does exist, I propose having designated sex worker zones. They would operate after 9 o'clock. They would be in secure buildings. Um, everything would be of a mutual understanding. There would be licensed security personnel. Um, there would be upfront prices to stop arguments over payment. All these things would be um, clear. Would it be ideal? Of course not. Will it be devoid of problems? Of course not. But it is conceivable that it would be better than the current situation. 
and I think governments have to shy away from uh, at least talking about this issue um, because it's a simple fact of human nature and it goes back thousands of years the need for sexual desire will always be there so long as that need is there that desire is there you will have people visiting sex workers and so long as the sex trade exists it is going to be organized, it's going to be um, controlled by criminals but if you legalize it that reduces their influence and if I was to make a parallel look at the situation with drugs in Portugal I believe Portugal has legalized every drug don't quote me on that but I believe they've taken pretty radical legislation in terms of drugs uh, you know there is a fear that Portugal will become a massive crime haven for drugs the exact opposite has had the effect look at the war on drugs in Latin America what has that done? It's caused some very, very bloody wars in Colombia and Mexico. I'm not proposing for every problem you just legalize it, but I do think for some issues that may be the option, and I think that may be the case with prostitution. So please let me know your thoughts. Um, these are just my opinions. That's all. Um, let me know your thoughts on the situation. Um, and please think objectively. Uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people don't think objectively with this. They just see it on the surface. And this is the situation we have with political parties in the UK, especially the Conservative Party. They just look at it on the surface and they won't explore the deeper issues. They just think prostitution, bad, illegal. They don't look at the deeper issues. And that's part of the problem we have. Thanks for watching.